when I joined the industry, I realized that, hey, um, you know, the training wasn't really working. I saw too many poor agents out there. I saw too many people who were struggling in the industry. And I looked at them and I thought these were bad guys, you know, people who did not uh, uh, attend the training that was conducted by the organization. But on the contrary, these were uh, guys who attended every single training conducted by those organizations. And at the end of the day, they didn't do well. The guys that did well were those who used a little bit of, you know, they probably had some business acumen. They have, they have a bit of street wisdom. They went out there, they applied what they knew about surviving and they did well. Then I said to myself, wow, something is seriously wrong with this uh, industry. And actually that was also one of the reasons why I uh, decided at that time that, you know, I would one day um, show people how to do this business uh, and become successful at it. I discovered like in, in a very big organization with about 5,000 people or, or, or a huge number of people, um, the success rate is very, very low. You know, people who are successful are very, very low. And I, I saw a lot of agents who were in the, in the industry uh, for six months, seven months, eight months and not closing a single deal. And they were, they, and, and many of them left the industry uh, much poorer than when they first joined. They used up all their savings and they, uh, you know, um, and I said to myself, this is not the way it, it, it should be. And when I started the industry myself, I myself was not doing very well. At the beginning, I was broke. I came into real estate because I was desperate. Then, my first um, listing that I got, somebody stole it from under my nose. Um, I was down, I was out, I was sick, I, was, I, was, I, I had nothing. And somebody just came, knocked at the door of the, uh, the, the owner and said, hey, uh, I can sell a property at a higher price. Oh, he undervalued your property. And I said, no, this is not the right way. I was, I, was, I was upset and I said to myself, not only I'm going to show people how to be successful, I'm going to show them how to do this business properly. So in 2005, finally the time came. I uh, felt it was time to fulfill my calling. I want to teach real estate people to make money by the right way because I feel it is important for them to um, fulfill the potential they have in this life. It's not about an attitude of accumulating wealth for the purpose of hoarding those wealth, but it is to accumulate those wealth so that you can have above what you need so that you can do more for those around you. It is, uh, it is funny um, for you to say uh, it is a big cost, right? But where does that logic come from? See, at the end of the day, there are parents who would spend hundreds of thousands of dollars and then their children would have to give up seven years of their lives or more to get a degree to qualify them as a doctor or spend same hundreds of thousands of dollars and many years of their lives to become a lawyer. I only require, I mean, my student pay $10,000, give up seven days of their lives to earn more than a doctor or a lawyer. Now, how can that be expensive?